Hello and welcome. My name is Stuart Lewis. I work for Scientrific and today we are going to be looking at these hand crank generators. These are one of my most favourite items to take on the road with me when I do travel. One of the things I love is unlike batteries, they can go through an airport. They're, all you need to do is wind the handle, either one direction or the other. By winding the handle, you are going to get a wonderful electrical charge. One of the activities I like doing with these most is first of all, looking at load. If I have the handle here and I give it a wind, you can hear it goes very easily. I'm now going to introduce a load by crossing these two together. And now, oh, much harder. You can really hear it when you wind the handle. You can also introduce load in a different way as well. Here I have a little light bulb. So I'll connect these to it. This is a 12 volt light bulb that I'm using here. And again, wind the handle. I can wind it. I feel a little bit of load when I do this though. In either direction. Another activity I love doing with it is very simple. All I need is Play-Doh. Play-Doh is conductive. It has a really good salt content. Now, when you do this activity, I do recommend not using your best alligator clips for it. I'll get two nice bulbs, blobs, pop some LED lights in, and attach all this together. I can pop those into the Play-Doh, wind the handle, Although generally when I do this, I do like to start with one of them around the wrong way. So this way I can look at directional flow of electricity. I can look at it in either direction. Brilliant, really nice to use. Now you can also take some quite good measurements with it. For this, I'm going to be measuring two dynamos hooked together, and I'm going to use an energy meter to do it. So we'll be able to measure both current and voltage. Let me just set this up quickly, and I'll be right back. Welcome back. So what I've done here is I've connected two of the dynamos together and also plugged it into an energy sensor. This will allow us to actually look at the voltage and current that we are producing. So let's get started. I'm going to turn the probe on. Once the light flashes, we're ready to go, and then we'll go over to the computer. On the computer here, you see we have our options with graphical analysis. Select our energy sensor. Check that all our channels are actually reading, and go done. I'll try and hold them both again in one hand. Ready to go. So we'll go collect. So you can see as I wind the handle, getting a nice amount of electricity, but you can also look at polarity by winding the other way. And I'll stop it there. So these are wonderful tools for a lot of electrical experiments. If you would like to know more information, please feel free to contact me on the following email address.